everyone, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to a market review of the SPY. The SPY is very bullish today and is at the first target, which is 208, and it's going to get to the next target, which is 208.75 and 209. Market will get to the dream target today, and the first thing I wrote in the room this morning was market very bullish today, the entire week, the whole week, market bullish, 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 very bullish all week this week. Starting out the week bullish and bullish all day today and all week. Market open, held, held below the day into the open, and I called the market aggressively long into the first period of the day, and it's at the first target, passed that down, going to the next number, and going to continue. Also, when I read and talked about the market in the room this morning before the market opened, I said, the market will retrace 80% or more of the drop down that it had in the last two weeks and possibly may make a new high this week in the market, and I can't see that yet until I see where we close today and gap tomorrow on Tuesday. And then someone said that there's a Fed minutes meeting or some kind of Fed meeting Wednesday afternoon, and I said, well, that may be the impetus for the market to get over the high this week. Not that it needs an impetus, not that it even needs a reason to get over the high, because it's going to anyways and always was going to. However, seeing that, setting up for Wednesday may be what pushes us over the number, although I don't know exactly until I see where we close today and gap tomorrow. But for right now, today, I call the market long. It is working. It is at the target. It is 11.30. The market's been trading for two hours straight up, nonstop, with no turnaround and no look back. Solid, solid, solid green bar in the market, and we'll close looking very similar to this today or more so. Beautiful bullish call I made in the market. I did see the way that we dropped on Friday. It was late. The drop happened late here around the lunchtime period that it fell off, and I'm sure some people thought that the market was going to fall. But we closed, and I saw the way that we closed this morning, very strong from the drop-off that we had. And I kept saying all along in the last few days, the last few videos, the last week, the market's not bearish. And, 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 and this retracement is going to happen so fast. Why? Because the bulls are in charge and have always been in charge and are still in charge of the market and are buying the market today and will continue to buy the market and just bought the drop down from the market that it had here. More buying is coming to the market. This is power buying that's coming into the market. This is buying that is coming into the market today and will follow through higher and the market will make a new high. So the next number in here today, again, is 208.75, 209. After that, we could actually, depending on where we close, we could get up tomorrow over 209. Rally straight on through tomorrow, up all the way to 212, 213, and beyond. Really, the next target over the high is 215. And I, I don't know if we get there this week till I see how quickly we make this transition back up upon ourselves in through the area. But there are people that shorted the market. They shorted around 210, 211, 209. Even if people shorted this late around 206, 207-ish, the market is not as short. And yet there are people that are short the market now, believing that it was lower. Why? Because the market made a series, a double top here, then a lower high, then a lower Lower high, then a lower low. Lower high, lower low, lower high. A market made a series of lower highs and lower lows for the last two weeks. And gap down one, two, three days. And also did fall. And it broke the low. And it broke the bar from the previous day from Friday to Thursday. And all of that has been giving people conviction the market is going to break and is lower. And I get so many emails. I see so many things and I don't really read them. I just see the titles. People saying the market's going to crash and things like that. However, I've been saying that's not going to happen. I've been saying the market's going to continue bullish the entire year of 2015. I've given some, all the targets for these things in the swing trade letter, and I will continue to do so. However, the market has some phenomenal bullish targets setting up this year, and it is very early for us to be hitting up on over here in March to get to continue on through, and it's just going to continue to happen. And I thought, well, we hit up onto the next target above the high of 215, 220, 225 that we might have a pullback in there that would be deep after we get to that number. However, you know, if we get up to that number, if it takes us a while to get up to that number, then we won't pull back deep. So, so we, I have to just see here how this all sets up because I'm just going to take it day by day. Day by day today, the market's bullish. This week is bullish the entire week. And that's what it is. And the year's higher too, and we just have to see when we really hit on through the next number or through the high. We're going to make a new high. And I actually, we could very well do it this week. But I knew that we were higher, and I understand why people shorted all of this, because I understand how people think, people that trade the market. However, you have to think like what institutions are doing in the market, because they're the ones that move the market, not traders. 
and institutions are buying the market. They're buying the market today. They've been buying the market. They're going to continue buying the market. And how do I know this? Because I know how to read bullish gaps and bearish gaps in the market. And that's I know how to reprice based on that, which has told me that all along, everything that's happened in here, even the red days, were not institutional sell-offs that were happening in the market, even though there were bearish gaps. And, and, and you could have shorted the bearish gap here back on the 6th and made money shorting. And you could have shorted the bearish gap here on the 10th and made money shorting. I didn't do that. I didn't do that, and I wouldn't have done that, nor would I have called to do that, like I called the market long today, because this is not a quality trade. So great call I made here the market higher. It's setting up to do it. 100% conviction. Beautiful bullish call I made the market today. We'll get to the next target. It's not even 12 o'clock Eastern time and we're at the first target. And I don't even know if the market pulls back in all today to buy it if you didn't buy my call here earlier in the morning. If it does, you can buy it all the way up to the next number and beyond. However, it may just kind of just keep going really basically here. It is so early for us to be doing this move. Uh, there's no sign of weakness here in the market whatsoever. And I know how to read price, and that's how I'm able to call the market higher and continue to do so. This is a beautiful chart. And again, it's not just about reading the moving averages, because the market did break through the 8th, the 20, the 50 pair moving average. And it's not just about reading the down gaps, because these, these were down gaps, but they weren't quality down gaps, or what I would call a, bull, a, a golden gap to the bearish side. So you can't short every down gap for follow through, and you can't buy every up gap for follow through. And you can't just buy everything on support or short everything at resistance. And you can't just read the moving averages. You see how hard this broke, how it broke the 50 and everything here, and then it's rallying back. You, you really, really have to learn how to read price. And you learn how to read price by learning how to read gaps to pick out the good ones or the ones that aren't so good. So you know how to take the position long or short. You can't short every bearish gap. And that doesn't tell you that something's changing even because if you don't know how to rate it, then you don't know if it's really something that's real. And that's why the rating system is so great that I figured out so much information there. That's how I'm able to read this stuff and predict it, not just in the live day like I did today, but in the coming days, in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and even, and even in the year to predict out that the market will be bullish all of the year of 2015. I'm able to predict something that far out. Because I'm reading the gaps in the market, I know how to reprice based on my analysis of gaps. Beautiful call I made today in the market. Very strong and expect a very, very, very bullish week in the market this week. 100% conviction. And there's a possibility this week we could get over the high. I won't know until I have, we see how we set up in the next two days. However, there's a report out or a meeting on Wednesday afternoon. And I'm not saying the market needs a reason to make a new high because it really doesn't because it was going to do it on its own no matter what anyways, eventually. But that reason could be the push up through that we get. Have a fantastic week, everyone. If you have any questions or are you interested in the Golden Gap course, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is the Stock Swish with the Spy Market Review. Very bullish today. Beautiful call I made in this. Long the market. Continue to hire. Have a great day, everyone.